Marburg virus outbreaks are increasing in frequency and geographic spread. Candida auris, deadly fungal infections spreading across U.S. at worrisome rate. How bad of a norovirus wave is the U.S. in four? It's all covered in today's China Truths. Marburg virus outbreaks are increasing in frequency and geographic spread. Recently, two countries in East Africa, Guinea and Tanzania, have reported an increase in cases of Marburg virus infection, causing concern among officials in these countries that the virus is showing signs of spreading. Tanzania confirmed its first-ever cases of Marburg virus disease after conducting laboratory tests in the country's northwest Kagera region, the World Health Organization, who said in a statement on March 21. Five of the eight confirmed cases have died, including a health worker, and the remaining three are being treated. The agency also identified 161 contacts of those infected, who are currently being monitored. The efforts by Tanzania's health authorities to establish the cause of the disease is a clear indication of the determination to effectively respond to the outbreak. We are working with the government to rapidly scale up control measures to halt the spread of the virus and end the outbreak as soon as possible, said Dr. Machadiso Modi, World Health Organization, who, Regional Director for Africa. Meanwhile, in Guinea, after nine deaths from the Marburg virus last month, the World Health Organization reported on March 23 that the country had recorded an additional eight cases of infection. According to Reuters, health experts believe that the Marburg virus is showing signs of spreading, as the locations of the detected cases are about 150 kilometers apart. During this period, the world has recorded a total of 20 deaths from the Marburg virus. The World Health Organization confirmed an outbreak of the deadly Marburg virus disease in the Central African country of Equatorial Guinea on February 13, 2023. To date, there have been 11 deaths suspected to be caused by the virus, with one case confirmed. Authorities are currently monitoring 48 contacts, four of whom have developed symptoms and three of whom are hospitalized as of publication. The WHO and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention are assisting Equatorial Guinea in its efforts to stop the spread of the outbreak. Marburg virus and the closely related Ebola virus belong to the phylovirus family and are structurally similar. Both viruses cause severe disease and death in people, with fatality rates ranging from 22% to 90% depending on the outbreak. Patients infected by these viruses exhibit a wide range of similar symptoms, including fever, body aches, severe gastrointestinal symptoms like diarrhea and vomiting, lethargy and sometimes bleeding. Candida auris, deadly fungal infections spreading across U.S. at worrisome rate. Potentially deadly fungal infections with Candida auris are spreading rapidly in U.S. healthcare facilities, with cases nearly doubling between 2020 and 2021, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said on Monday. The number of cases rose by 44% to 476 in 2019, up from 330 in 2018, and subsequently by 59% to 756 in 2020 and by an additional 95% to 1,471 in 2021, the agency's researchers reported on Monday in Annals of Internal Medicine. Also concerning was a tripling in 2021 of the number of cases that were resistant to echinocandins, the class of drugs most often recommended for the treatment of the disease. The most common candida aura symptoms include a high fever and chills that do not improve after antibiotic treatment for suspected bacterial infections, according to guidelines from the CDC. Additional symptoms can develop if the infection spreads. The rapid rise in geographic spread of cases are concerning and emphasize the need for continued surveillance, expanded lab capacity, quicker diagnostic tests, and adherence to proven infection prevention and control, the study's leader, Dr. Megan Lyman, said in a statement. The CDC noted that the spread of infections in 2021 may have been exacerbated as the healthcare system was hit by stresses related to the COVID-19 pandemic, including staff and equipment shortages. The report did not include data from 2022, 
but the CDC's website shows 2,377 cases of confirmed Candida auris infections in the U.S. Last year was a sharp increase from 53 in 2016 when cases were first reported in the country. Although it was initially limited primarily to the New York City and Chicago metropolitan areas, Candida auris has now been detected in more than half of U.S. states, with recent cases mostly reflecting local transmission of the disease, according to the report. Other countries have also reported increased spread of the fungus, the researchers said. How bad of a norovirus wave is the U.S. in 4? The bug, which causes intense but blessedly short episodes of vomiting and diarrhea, with or without a brief period of fever, chills, and body aches, has been on the rise in the UK. And an uptick of cases has recently begun to appear in the US, too. As of February 4, 17% of norovirus tests in the US were coming back positive, more than at any point last season. Even though norovirus numbers aren't yet out of control, experts say the pandemic probably left us a little more vulnerable to the infection than we were before the pandemic in a number of ways. In the week between December 26 and January 2, the number of norovirus outbreaks nationwide increased from 15 to 25. If trends across the Atlantic are any indication, as they've often been with other infectious diseases, Americans can expect to see norovirus rebound to pre-pandemic levels this spring. As of now, although the virus is clearly on the rise in the U.S., there are no signals of a stratospheric increase or a jump in cases at an unusual time of year. That said, some scientists are a bit worried about an intensified threat from norovirus this year. Norovirus is a type of highly contagious virus that can cause illness in people of all ages, with characteristic symptoms of gastroenteritis. Therefore, the disease caused by norovirus is also called stomach flu. The virus can spread through food, water, and surfaces contaminated with the virus or through direct contact with an infected person. Don't forget to leave a comment in the section below to share your opinions on today's topic with us. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more interesting topics from China Truths.